Okay, today we're going to tie a poison tongue. This is a really great small midge nymph for, well, any time really, but with winter coming, good, a good fly to have in the fly box. If you like fly fishing and fly tying, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before we get going here. So, we're starting off fire hole sticks. 316 and a size 18 in the vise. And we got a fire hole sticks, tungsten bead, and a 2.5 millimeter. This is in the birthday suit, which is a really, I think it's a really fun color uh, bead go along with just, instead of just using a silver bead. But you could use a silver bead too if you want. And we're going to get going with some blue done 70 denier UTC thread. I do really like this thread for this fly. It, so, you know, you could go find a, a thread that's maybe a 10 aught or 12 aught. This thread really lays down flat and it has a nice sheen to it. Where this is just a thread body fly. So just get your thread started on there. Uh, you can try to keep that thread nice and flat, uh, but we're going to try to keep this fly thin. Our next material is some gunmetal blue. This color is very important for this fly. Get the gunmetal blue, get the extra small size. Try to get that. In there behind the bead. That's where we're really just gonna get tied in. And just touching turns all the way back if you can. All the way back to that tie-in point. Get that thing out of the way. Thread nice and flat, you know, maybe give it a couple counterclockwise spins here and there. I just like to go up and back a couple times with that thread nice and flat. You're not going to really build up any torque. We're just trying to and hide that wire in there. You can see that's hidden pretty well. I like to use those wire keepers. It lets me not waste any wire. And I can just wrap this forward. If it's still on the spool, Nice close spirals. Extra small wire is really good for this. Try to keep them evenly, evenly spaced. Get up to the bead, a couple wraps behind, one in front, one more behind. I like to keep some thread tension, and we can just helicopter this off. The extra small does helicopter pretty well. So now to finish this fly, all we're going to do is get some ice dub and UV gray. 
and with this fly and the smaller that you get in this 18 is probably on the larger size you need just barely any what i have here few strands is probably borderline too much and i like to make sure that this gets nice and tight or the Dubs nice and tight. Keep that right behind the bead. We want it to be nice and small. That could maybe have a couple more here. Let's see if I can. Do this without showing you how to overdo it. Right behind that bead. And this is one spot where having that 2.5 millimeter bead is helpful because you can really seat that right behind that little bit larger bead without it getting away from you. So I'll keep that 2.5 millimeter bead with a size 18. Once I get down to a, a 20, then I will uh, jump to that 2 millimeter bead. Get that whip finish seated in there. This one I might be do two, three turn whip finishes. Trim that out. I got a couple long fibers over here that I'll just pretend to trim, I guess. I like to have this thorax be nice and small back behind that bead. If you like it more buggy, go ahead. Brush it out and keep it how you like it. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Drop a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.